I got a big one. I'm just wrapped around something. It's going to be very hot today. Um, it's going to be a feel like of like 100 degrees before 9 o'clock. So I'm out here, it's about 5.30, 5, 6 o'clock now, between 5.30 and 6. Um, so I got an early start in the day, and uh, we'll see if we can get on some fish, guys. Got, got a couple things rigged up. This area here is pretty good prime area. Uh, it's a beaver dam right here. So around it, it's pretty deep water, and, and along this cove is a pretty good area as well from last year's experience at least don't uh we'll see how it goes today um, i'm gonna start out with the bandita bug i want to try it first i really like i had some good luck on it yesterday at the different pond i was fishing but I, i'd like to catch them more today uh they're pretty decent sized fish and i think the bandita bug does pull in a little bit bigger size fish so um let's get out here guys let's see if we can get on them and it's really not a deep pond i think it's probably like maybe three feet three or four feet at max it's kind of like just like a wildlife retention pond is what I would call it, but uh, getting up here, guys. I'm gonna stay quiet, try to stay stealthy, and uh, let's see if we can get on them. Oh, of course I hooked up. Oh, nice bass, nice bass, guys. Nice size one. Let's see if we get him in fairly hooked. Nice. He's a nice chunky one. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. All right. All right, guys, so this nice little bass, probably a nice two pounder. He's like a, let's see, caught him right. Oh, I might have to get pliers for this guy for sure. So I actually caught it, I actually threw it over the branch and he bit it, came out perfectly. All right, guys, so this is the first fish out here. I uh, caught it on the wacky rig, yum dinger. Probably a nice one and a half, maybe one pounder. But like I said, guys, these fish, there's something about them that are just, it makes them nice quality fish. They're nice. Uh, it's not a very long fish, but it's nice and healthy. That's for sure. Um, we're gonna go ahead and get him back. Get a quick pick. All right, let's send her on her way. Awesome guys. First fish, like I don't know, I'm sure you guys saw it actually, uh, but I, I threw it and it actually landed on the branch and I, I was just trying to get it off and I actually at first I thought maybe maybe it was a tug of a, it was just a tug of a branch or something. And then I realized after it started pulling it, it was a fish. Kind of blew the spot a little bit now, unfortunately. But we're gonna make a couple more casts over here, then make our way like right in there. Some just hit it. Oh, yeah, he's on. <laughs> I saw him come up and hit it, guys. Nice little one, little tiny one. Oh, came right off, perfect. Came off even easy for me. I saw him, man, he came up for that thing. His like whole head is red. It's weird looking, guys. His whole color is just looking weird. He's like real red. I think that's maybe because of the stain color in here and this water. A uh, little tiny one, but we'll go ahead and get him back. <laughs> 
literally watched him come up to hit that. That was pretty awesome. I love it when they do that. So I caught one of them on the, when I was throwing it wacky and then the smaller one when I was just throwing it, got a weightless now. I was catching a lot of branches. There's a lot of branches out here now. There was a, st a tropical storm uh, about two weeks ago. Tiny one, little baby. Little one. They got that nice dark tint to them. Just like I, I believe it's just because this water is so dark. Little baby must be. Last year's bass, I'm assuming. Get him back in there. Oh, I did a little trick for us. It's amazing how little these bass are sometimes when they eat these. These big old worms that are the same size as them. Bass just jumped right here. Holy God, it scared the, that was a bass jump literally right here. Oh, on. Oh. Damn it, I set the hell out of the hook too. Jesus. Caught one of the appendages. I knew I had a bite. What the hell? God, I think I got a turtle. What the hell? Oh my God, what the hell do I have? Oh my God, I am, I got a big one. I'm just wrapped around something. Oh, oh Christ. Oh, I got a nice one on, guys. I'm just wrapped. I don't even know how I'm gonna do this. Still on too, thank god. Jesus, it's a fucking monster too. I don't know how he, how he hasn't broken the damn line yet. It's unfathomable to me. I'm gonna have to hang line this fish and he's not even hooked anymore hardly. Oh, I got off, oh my god, I had him. I had him right here at the boat, having him in my hand, guys. Freaking God, he got wrapped all around this. Probably like a nice three pounder. And I had him right here, guys. Oh my God, that sucks. Frick. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see it on there or not. Everything got in there. It was probably like a two and a half, three pounder. And he got wrapped around this little stick here. And uh, basically what happened was he got wrapped around the stick. I thought I was gonna be able to get him out still. And the hook was just barely in there. And I had him, I even had him in my hands. He was able to swim off still. That was really the last one of that color bandito bug. Hopefully the blue baby uh, still worked. That's a shame guys, had that fish. I don't know if you're even gonna be able to see it or not. But uh, that was crazy. Literally just wrapped himself around that little limb. I thought I had a nice bite, pulled him in there. He was probably, like I said, probably I'm gonna say like two or three pounds. I mean, he could have been a little bit bigger, but I had him like literally in my hands, guys. Had the fish, uh, had him. I could just see the hook was just barely in there. 
And uh, I tried to do everything, I even tried to break the branch and everything. And uh, when I, as soon as I had him, and then I lost him, I could even feel him like still right there. But I'm gonna get re-rigged up, guys. Let's see if we can get on some fish here. Getting kind of dead out here. And uh, so that was pretty good, you know, see that, uh, to have that happen was pretty good because it was definitely a nice sized bass. Oh, nice one. Oh, yeah. Come on, you freaking piece of junk. Nice. Nice, guys. Off the bandito bug. Off the bandito bug, baby. Let's go. He's a nice one. He, I mean... Probably pretty close to the one I had on earlier. Nice two pounder, guys. You gotta love it. Um, just caught him off the bandita bug again, right here on this little bank. And I'm guessing that's where they are. Uh, this is the third bite I had in probably about 15 minutes. And finally, the first catch. He is a beautiful fish, guys. Probably about one and a half. Is it one and a half, two pounds? And now for the release. You guys gonna be able to see it. I only got the one camera running, the other one was overheating on top of my head. And obviously you can't have that, so we'll get this guy back. Caught him off the black and blue bandito bug. There he goes. He's ready to go. Now I gotta deal with the little net problem, but alright, I can deal with that. No, it's not a problem. As long as I'm catching fish. So that bandito bug maybe the juice show. We're about to find out. Love it. I love it when the fish get me tangled and cobobulated. <laughs> The net can be the worst situation ever. This kind of net, I definitely need to get a new net, obviously, guys. I got one on, but he's wrapped in a branch. All right, got to get over to him. God, it's happened twice now. Let's see if I actually make the right decision this time. Our part is here in the kayak and I can't keep the line tight and get up on it. He's off anyway. Nonetheless, a fish ain't wrapping me around the branch. Come on, what do you believe? What'd you believe at? Come on now. I think I actually caught him on the branch, so honestly. He might not even wrap me, he might just been on the branch. Like when I, threw, I think he went over the branch when I threw it. There he is, there he is. He tried to go for it again. There he is. He tried to go back for it again. There we go, baby. Like I said, guys, these fish are freaking monsters out here. Haha, <laughs> baby, that's what I'm talking about. I hooked him right in there. Nice hook set. I'm pretty sure that's going to be the same fish. This is probably another one, one pounder. Um, there's some beautiful looking fish, though. Really are quality fish out here. Uh, another one on the board guys get him out that thing I found a little pattern here guys So hopefully we can get on some more Let's release him Let's see if we can get on some That was on the bandito bug baby they love that bandito let me tell you Oh man. It's got the one camera rolling, I guess. Oh, perfect hook set. Nice little, about, probably 10, 12 ouncer. All right guys, I've been drifting for a little bit. I haven't had any luck. Um, I had a pretty good bite there for a while. And what I'm gonna do is I'm basically gonna just go back to the area, to that little beaver dam. That's where I started the float. I kind of just started a little drift and it was fish, uh, fishing the bank with the bandito bug. So I think what I'm gonna do is go ahead and head back to that beaver dam and just fish that area where I was actually having the bites and catching the fish. Uh, and that's where I'm gonna call it a day. So let's see, we can go on and get a few more bites. Uh, I think the bites getting ready to start to die off. It's getting ready to be about 10, 1030. So uh, we're getting towards the middle of the day. It's getting really hot out here. So I'm going to go ahead and give it one more drift in that area where I was having the bites and uh, let's see if we can get on the big one. All 
right, y'all. Well, it, I'm not having any more luck out here. I'm pretty sure it's just gotten way too hot. It's too hot for me personally to want to sit out here and stay. And there's nowhere to really get any shade or relief uh, from the sunlight. So I think the fish are pretty much done eating. I had uh, had a pretty good bite going on there for a minute. Caught a few here and there on the yum ding, and then I picked up a few on that bandito bug at the end. That was pretty, came in very clutch. Uh, so I haven't fished a bandito like this particular pond before, so I was pretty excited to go ahead and try that. It worked out pretty well here, as you guys saw. Caught the uh, caught the biggest fish, probably I think caught the most actually. I'm thinking I caught either three or four. Um, I had I know I had at least four bites on. I lost the one on the on the stick. That was pretty unfortunate. But you live and you learn. Like I said, I should have put the net under it. That would have been the smarter thing. Just put the net under it, and then in case the the hook did come out, like I knew it was going to. You could see it was just barely in there. And uh, but the 20 pound line held out. That's a good thing. Um, so I'm pretty excited to get out here. Pretty excited to be back filming for you guys. Stay tuned. There are going to be weekly videos coming back um, every single week, guys. So stay tuned for that. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Like this video and make sure you guys comment what you want to see in the future. Uh, if you like this video, let me know. Uh, let me know if you want to see more things on the on the kayak, more things on the bank. Uh, more saltwater videos, more bass fishing videos. You guys let me know what you want to see, and I'll do my best to make sure it happens. You guys stay tuned for the next video, and I'll see you guys next time out on the water. Peace.